It is Thursday of Holy Week. For many, they call it Holy Thursday. We call it Maundy Thursday. Maundy comes from the Latin word mandatum, commandment. Today we hear Jesus offer up a mandatum novum, a new commandment. We're going to hear this new commandment coming from the Gospel of John tonight in worship. Allow me to read it for you. This is from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 34. Jesus says, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. I'll be honest. The phrase that Jesus uses here, new commandment, that puzzles me a bit. I don't know that there's anything new about it. Not as I read the scriptures. If, if we go all the way back, God giving God's laws to Moses, Moses presenting those laws to the people of God, all of that is about understanding how much God loves us and how God calls on us to love one another. Moving beyond the laws into the words of the prophets, whether it's Amos or, or Jeremiah or Isaiah, it's all the same. God loves you. And, and all God asks in return is that you love God by loving one another. But people don't listen. They didn't listen to Moses. They didn't listen to the prophets. And so God comes. God comes in bodily form through the Son, Jesus Christ. He is the incarnation, the embodiment of God's love for us. And all through his ministry, he has been trying to get us to understand how much God loves us, and how much God calls on us to love one another. But now on this Holy Thursday, as Jesus is preparing himself and those around him, especially his disciples, for when he'll be going to the cross, He demonstrates this love in, in very powerful ways. But I'm not sure the disciples get it yet. I mean, we know the disciples don't get it yet. We know that because when Jesus, on this very evening, when he gathers with his disciples in that upper room for that last supper, before the meal began, Jesus gets up from the table. He takes off his robe. He ties a towel around his waist. 
He gets down on his hands and feet and begins to wash the feet of the disciples. They're confused. They don't know what's going on here. This is not right. And when Jesus finally comes to Peter, Peter says, no, no, Lord, you will never wash my feet. And then Jesus says, well, if I don't, you can't be a part of what I'm doing. Peter, you don't understand this right now, but you will. Then Jesus goes beyond washing feet, being that servant, to giving himself. Talk about embodying love, lifting the bread and the wine this is my body, this is my blood given for you for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. But the embodiment of love, the demonstration of God's love doesn't stop there. That love finds its focus Tomorrow evening, Good Friday, on the cross, Jesus gives himself as a sacrifice for your sin and for mine. Jesus gives himself to secure your relationship with God forever. But that's not the end to the story, is it? We are not a Good Friday people. We are an Easter people. And three days later, Easter morning, we will hear the story and we will celebrate the power of God's love. Not just to forgive sin, but to offer new life, resurrection life. Jesus offers us a new commandment, bondatum novum, that we are to realize the power of God's love in our lives, where we are today, And to love God in return by loving one another. Allow me to pray with you. God of life and death and life, we thank you for your laws. We thank you for your prophets. We thank you for your dear son who came as an embodiment of your love to teach us again, to remind us again, to teach us, to show us. Help us to receive that love. To receive that love and to offer it to those around us that we might know the power of your resurrection, that we might share that power with others this day in the midst of this pandemic and forevermore. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Dear people of God, on this Monday, Thursday, I hope to, to see you as, as we can. Uh, for for worship that'll be at, at seven o'clock uh, through the the media but always remember that God loves you that I love you and that God will bring us to the resurrection to Easter to new life
to life beyond this pandemic. God bless you.